When Sarah heard obnoxious noises coming from the garden, she was washing dishes. She peered out the window to see her son Max holding a baby in the garden. She briefly became immobile. She rushed outside to ask him how in the world he had the child. Sarah didn't realize that this would completely upend their lives at the time. He hesitated before saying, I'm sorry, I had to. Sarah's heart raced with anxiety as she watched the police drive away with the baby in their care. She couldn't shake off the feeling that time was slipping through her fingers. Desperate and determined, she scoured the surroundings for any clues that could lead her to the infant's parents. Every passing second felt like an eternity as she retraced her steps, hoping to stumble upon a shred of evidence that would unravel the mystery. Sarah's determination grew, and she reached out to news outlets, social media groups, and community organizations. She hoped the power of collective efforts would aid her in finding answers and bringing the baby back home. Sarah had a nagging suspicion that there was more to the tale. Who would give an eight-year-old a baby at random? She couldn't shake off the feeling that someone was pulling the strings behind the scenes, using her as a pawn in a larger game. Determined to get to the bottom of it, she embarked on a relentless search for clues, following every lead and connecting the dots. As Sarah delved deeper, unease grew. The situation turned more dangerous, revealing a sinister plot. Fear consumed her as she understood the gravity. She treaded cautiously, knowing the truth could be life-altering. Sarah's relentless investigation finally yielded the answers she sought, but it came at a great cost. Along the treacherous path she had taken, both Sarah and her son Max were exposed to grave danger. The truth she unraveled was more shocking than she could have imagined, revealing the identity of the person who abandoned the infant with Max. It was a revelation that shook Sarah to her core, leaving her grappling with the consequences of her pursuit for the truth. Sarah's investigation revealed deception, betrayal, and hidden motives. Now, as the dust settles, she faces a difficult decision that will determine the baby's future and shape their destiny. After finishing her errands, Sarah was on the verge of reaching home when an unexpected knock echoed at her door. Puzzled, she paused before opening it, not anticipating anyone's arrival. To her astonishment, her eight-year-old son, Max, stood there, cradling a newborn in his arms. Max, what are you doing? She asked, her voice laced with concern and disbelief. Max hesitated, his eyes filled with a mix of worry and determination. I found the baby abandoned near the park, he explained softly, holding the infant closer. I couldn't leave them alone, Mom. We have to help. Sarah's heart swelled with pride and apprehension as she realized the gravity of the situation. Sarah's initial assumption that it was a doll shattered upon closer inspection, revealing a real infant in Max's arms. Growing concerned, she repeated her question, this time with a firm voice, as Max continued to stay silent. Max, explain yourself. Whose baby is that? But Max's silence persisted, his trembling body and teary eyes conveying the weight of his emotions. Feeling a surge of empathy, Sarah gently reached out and embraced Max, offering comfort in the face of confusion. It's all right, Max, she reassured him softly. We'll figure this out together. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Max managed to utter the words, Mom, I'm sorry, his voice trembling with remorse. Sarah's heart sank at his admission, a mixture of perplexity and deep concern etched on her face. I had to do it, Max added, his voice filled with a sense of desperation. Unable to comprehend the gravity of the situation, Sarah swiftly took the baby girl from Max's arms, her hands trembling with a mix of apprehension and urgency. As Sarah examined the infant, her worry grew. The baby girl was mostly unharmed, except for a small bruise on her forehead. With relief and curiosity mingling, Sarah vowed to protect her and uncover the truth behind Max's involvement. What happened, Max? Sarah asked with a trembling voice, desperately trying to keep her composure. She needed answers, but feared what she might hear. I was playing in the park when someone approached me, Max explained his voice filled with a mixture of fear and confusion. They gave me the baby and told me to take care of her. Then they ran away, I swear. 
I didn't know what to do, so I took her home immediately. Sarah's disbelief grew as she processed Max's explanation. Who would do this? She wondered aloud. Fear clutched her heart, but she found the courage to speak softly. We must involve the authorities, Max. This is beyond our capabilities. As Sarah listened to her son's narrative, her heart shattered into a million pieces. The gravity of the situation weighed heavily on her as she realized the immense risk involved in leaving an infant in the care of a child. We need to call the police, Max, Sarah murmured, her mind racing with a mix of anger, fear, and protectiveness. This is a very serious matter, and we must ensure the safety of this baby. Sarah's voice trembled with determination as she reaffirmed her commitment to finding justice and protecting the innocent. We won't let anyone harm her, she whispered, her words laced with resolve. They made a call to the police together, their hearts heavy with a mix of concern and relief. Sarah cradled the infant in her arms, gently rocking her back and forth, trying to provide comfort amidst the chaos. Time seemed to stretch as they anxiously awaited the arrival of the authorities, their eyes darting to every passing vehicle. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the police arrived. They swiftly took charge of the situation, carefully taking the baby into their protective custody. Max provided his statement, recounting the events with unwavering clarity. With a determined nod, the officers assured them that they would do everything in their power to identify the person responsible for this heart-wrenching act. Days turned into an excruciating wait for Sarah and Max as their anxiety grew with each passing moment. Sarah's maternal instincts kicked into overdrive, fueling her determination to ensure the safety of the infant. Doubt gnawed at her, suspecting that there was more to the story than what Max had revealed. Unable to sit idly by any longer, she resolved to take matters into her own hands and embarked on a clandestine investigation. Sarah embarked on an online investigation, determined to uncover the truth behind the abandoned baby. With unwavering resolve, she sifted through digital footprints, piecing together fragments of information in her quest for answers. Sarah meticulously retraced Max's steps from the day he found the baby determined to uncover any missed clues. She sat down with her son, gently coaxing him to recall every detail of his activities and locations. Max struggled with his memory, but Sarah remained patient, encouraging him to make an effort. Finally, Max handed his mother a note containing his instructions, capturing the essence of that pivotal day. Analyzing Max's account, Sarah sought patterns or anomalies that could uncover the truth. Her investigative instincts sharpened as she sifted through details, determined to unveil hidden connections and find answers. As Sarah read the note, her mind raced with possibilities. She swiftly devised a plan, determined to follow every lead and uncover the truth behind the abandoned baby. Instructing Max to stay home until her return, she emphasized the importance of his safety. Though hesitant, Max understood the risks involved and genuinely wanted to assist his mother in any way he could. With a heavy heart, Max bid farewell to his mother, hoping that her investigation would yield the answers they sought. He anxiously awaited her return, aware that the situation could quickly spiral out of control. The following day, Sarah left for the park carrying the note in her pocket. She followed the same path that Max had taken on that devoted day, hoping to find some answers or a clue. However, as she walked through the familiar paths and glanced at the trees and bushes, everything seemed ordinary. Sarah felt a mix of disappointment and curiosity. She eventually reached a peaceful bench in the park where she sat down to gather her thoughts. The sun cast a warm glow on the grass. Sarah closed her eyes, taking a deep breath in the tranquil surroundings. Despite the lack of answers, she sensed something extraordinary on the horizon. Sarah's frustration grew as she hit one dead end after another. The parkgoers she approached seemed oblivious or uninterested in her inquiries. Every lead she thought she had quickly fizzled out, leaving her feeling defeated and lost. As the sun began to set, Sarah resolved to regroup and try a different approach. She knew that giving up was not an option. Max's safety depended on her persistence and determination. 
Sarah, fueled by determination, reassessed her methods. Realizing she had been searching in the wrong places, she resolved to think outside the box and explore unconventional avenues. With a new mindset, she embarked on a journey to uncover the truth. In her relentless pursuit, Sarah decided to visit local hospitals and clinics in hopes of finding someone who had been searching for a missing baby. Despite her efforts, the parents' identities remained elusive, leaving her feeling disheartened. Days turned into weeks as she tirelessly continued her search, never losing hope. As time went on, Sarah's face became familiar to regular park visitors, who began recognizing her as the woman on a mission. Sarah, at a dead end, received an unexpected call from an anonymous tipster. The information had potential to uncover the mysterious individuals who gave Max away. Renewed with excitement, she prepared to pursue the lead. One early morning, Sarah discovered a mysterious tip. A small letter was discreetly placed on her front door by an unknown person. With intrigue, she swiftly retrieved the note and retreated to the privacy of her home to unravel its contents. The words inscribed on the note sent a shiver down her spine. Every Wednesday, a lady sits in the same spot in the park and just watches the children. Intrigued and unnerved, Sarah wondered about the lady in the park and her connection to Max's disappearance. Determined, she decided to stake out the park on Wednesday, hoping to uncover the truth. Sarah's heart raced with anticipation as she realized that the day was Wednesday, just as the note had mentioned. Filled with hope, she hurriedly made her way to the park, Max by her side. Sarah hoped that Max could somehow recognize the mysterious woman. As she sat on a bench, searching for a woman without children, Max gleefully ran off to play with his friends. While Sarah anxiously scanned the park, her eyes darting from one person to another, Max reveled in the freedom of play. Oblivious to his mother's quest, he laughed and chased after his buddies, lost in a world of innocence and joy. After half an hour of searching, Sarah's eyes widened with astonishment as she spotted a woman wearing oversized sunglasses settling onto a park bench. The woman was unaccompanied by any children, sitting alone in solitude. Throughout the day, Sarah meticulously observed the woman's every move. True to the note's description, all she seemed to do was watch the children. It struck Sarah as peculiar, leaving her with a lingering sense of unease. As time went on, Sarah grew uneasy. The woman's intense gaze on the children unnerved her, raising questions and deepening her desire to uncover the truth about this mysterious figure in the park. Without hesitation, the woman abruptly rose from the park bench and hastily made her escape. Sarah's instincts kicked in, and she clutched Max tightly, determined to uncover the truth. Following the woman's trail for several kilometers, they eventually arrived at a rundown apartment complex on the outskirts of town. Aware of the need for caution, Sarah parked her car across the street, careful not to draw attention. With her heart pounding, Sarah cautiously observed the dilapidated structure from her vantage point. The sense of urgency grew stronger as she contemplated what secrets might lie within those walls. Everything hinged on this moment, and Sarah knew she had to proceed with utmost care. Max, I need you to stay in the car while I go inside, Sarah said, her voice firm. But mom, I want to help, Max complained. I know, honey, but it's not safe, Sarah responded. Just stay in the car and keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Max let out an exasperated sigh, his frustration evident as he reluctantly reclined in his seat, begrudgingly accepting his role as lookout. Sarah battled conflicting emotions as she prepared for the unknown. Leaving Max was difficult, but his safety came first. With a heavy heart, she entered the dark building, stealing a final glance at him. Sarah exited the vehicle and headed for the apartment complex, adopting an air of nonchalance to blend in. Every step was calculated, every movement measured. To avoid arousing suspicion, she feigned familiarity with the area, even though her heart pounded in her chest like a wild drumbeat. As she ascended the stairs to the second floor, a mixture of anticipation and anxiety washed over her. 
heightening her senses and sharpening her focus. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. As Sarah climbed the stairs, her pulse quickened with urgency. Determined to uncover the hidden truth, she braved the weight of the situation. On the second floor, she prepared to face the unknown, resolute in her pursuit of answers. She waited until she was close to the door before knocking, her mind swirling with doubts. Was this truly a wise decision? The weight of uncertainty pressed upon her, making her question the potential consequences. What if things took a turn for the worse? What if Max and she found themselves in trouble? But then, Sarah shook her head, determination coursing through her veins, and whispered to herself, no. The safety of the child was equally paramount. And so, she summoned her courage and rapped on the door. With each knock, Sarah's resolve grew stronger. The risks were worth it for the child's well-being. Pushing doubts aside, she focused on her mission. Heart pounding, she waited for a response, determined to see it through. Sarah's surprise was palpable as the door swung open to reveal another woman, seemingly in her late twenties. Draped in an oversized sweatshirt and sweatpants, her long, dark hair cascaded around her. The woman's doubtful expression betrayed her curiosity as she questioned, Can I help you? Sarah met her gaze with unwavering confidence and replied, Yes. And in that moment, Sarah knew deep down that this woman held the key to the answers she sought. The air crackled with anticipation as their eyes met. In that moment, Sarah sensed the weight of their connection a shared purpose. Intertwined by fate, her determination surged. Sarah fought to steady her voice as she added, I'm looking for the person who left a baby with my son. The woman's response was swift. I don't know what you're talking about. As she opened the door wider, determined to prevent it from closing, Sarah deftly pushed her foot inside. From within the apartment, the sound of a baby's sobs reached her ears, confirming her suspicions. With the cries echoing through the air, Sarah's resolve solidified. Time seemed to stand still as she braced herself for the unknown that lay beyond that threshold. With anger fueling her voice, Sarah confronted the woman. I think you do know what I'm talking about, and I'm not leaving until you tell me. Her insistence grew stronger, each word punctuated with frustration. But as the woman forcefully pushed the door, Sarah winced in pain, hastily pulling her foot back. The rejection stung, and she couldn't fathom accepting the reality of what had just transpired. Sarah's mind raced, questions swirling in a whirlwind of uncertainty. Was the sobbing child she desperately sought the same innocent soul trapped behind that closed door? The doubt lingered, casting shadows over her determination. Sarah's anger boiled over, her voice echoing through the hallway as she screamed at the woman, demanding that she open the door. Frustration mingled with fear as the realization hit her like a wave. The woman would never comply. Her heart raced, pounding in her chest as doubt crept in. Why was she met with such resistance? It was clear that her ire had reached its limits. Sarah swiftly made the decision to change her approach, opting for a new strategy. Sarah took a breath, softening her tone. Politely, she requested the woman to let her in. Hoping to connect and appeal to empathy, she aimed to uncover the truth. From inside, the woman's voice pierced the air, full of desperation and anger. Leave me alone or I'll call the police. But Sarah saw through the bluff. It was she who had the upper hand, aware that involving the authorities would only land the woman in deeper trouble. Still, despite her attempts to approach with love and understanding, it was evident that this strategy was faltering. Another course of action was necessary. Determined, Sarah refused to give up. She searched for an alternative, a way to break through the barricade of resistance. With renewed focus, she devised a new plan, determined to uncover the truth she sought. Sarah's mind raced, adrenaline surging through her veins. The thought of a helpless baby trapped behind that door propelled her into action. Time was of the essence, and she couldn't afford to hesitate any longer. Summoning every ounce of strength, Sarah pressed her body against the door, using all her weight to try and force it open. 
determination fueled her efforts as she pushed with all her might, desperate to reach the child inside. With a final burst of energy, the door gave way, swinging open with a creak. Sarah wasted no time, rushing inside the flat to ensure the safety of the baby. As Sarah stepped into the apartment, her heart sank at the sight before her. The space was engulfed in clutter, with piles of unwashed laundry stacked haphazardly on furniture and dirty dishes scattered across the kitchen counter. It was clear that the resident rarely ventured outside, isolated in this unkempt environment. The stench of neglect hung in the air, intensifying her determination to rescue the baby from such an unsafe and unsuitable living situation. Determined and focused, Sarah searched the cluttered apartment tirelessly, desperate to find the infant. Time was of the essence, and the child's safety relied on her swift actions. With a sinking feeling in her chest, Sarah realized that the apartment was empty. The silence that greeted her was deafening, leaving her with an overwhelming sense of dread. She frantically searched every room, calling out in vain, but there was no sign of the baby or anyone else. What had happened to them? The unanswered question hung heavy in the air, fueling her determination to uncover the truth. Sarah's heart raced as she heard a crash. She hurried to the window, witnessing the mother and baby fleeing. Determined, she felt an increased urgency to uncover the truth behind their abrupt departure. As Sarah watched the woman walking away, holding the baby protectively, her heart pounded with a mix of emotions. Anger surged through her veins at the thought of someone endangering an innocent child. Worry for the baby's safety gnawed at her, propelling her into action. Without hesitation, she leapt out of the window and sprinted after them, determined to confront the mother and ensure the baby's well-being. However, as Sarah chased after them, a nagging concern tugged at her. Max, her loyal German shepherd, was locked inside her car. The fear of leaving him alone for too long added another layer of urgency to her pursuit. Dodging pedestrians and vehicles, Sarah chased the woman through crowded streets and narrow alleys. Fear and determination surged within her as she desperately tried to make sense of the situation unfolding before her eyes. Questions raced through her mind. What was happening? Why did this mother have the child? With her parental instincts in overdrive, Sarah was resolute in her mission to prevent the woman from escaping, regardless of the obstacles in her path. Sarah's adrenaline surged as she pushed herself, fueled by her protective instinct. Fatigue and doubt were dismissed as she pursued the woman, determined to uncover the mystery that consumed her thoughts. As Sarah closed in on the woman, the piercing cries of the baby became more distinct, fueling her determination to reach them. With each step, the urgency grew stronger, propelling her forward. After what felt like an eternity, she cornered the woman in a secluded alley, their paths converging at last. The mother's grip tightened around the infant, her face etched with a palpable mix of panic and desperation. In that moment, Sarah sensed that there was a deeper story unfolding, one that held the key to understanding why this chase had taken place. Sarah held her arms out and said, please give me the baby. She regarded the woman with a mix of anxiety and determination, uncertain of the woman's next move. Memories of previous encounters with elusive suspects flashed through her mind, knowing that this woman might attempt to flee once again. Please, I can help. Just give me the baby, Sarah pleaded, desperation evident in her voice. However, the woman's uneasiness remained, casting a shadow of doubt on the chances of a peaceful resolution. The tension hung heavy in the air, leaving Sarah grappling with the uncertainty of the situation. Sarah's skepticism was apparent as she listened to the woman stumble through her explanation. The urgency in her voice grew, and she commanded the mother to hand over the child immediately. With a mixture of reluctance and tears streaming down her face, the mother reluctantly surrendered the infant into Sarah's outstretched arms. Relief washed over Sarah as she cradled the baby, enveloping the tiny form with a sense of protection and security. In that precious moment, all worries and doubts faded away, replaced by the overwhelming joy of having the child safely back in her care. The infant, though visibly shaken, 
seemed to be relatively unharmed by the ordeal. Sarah's gaze shifted from the baby to the woman, who was now sobbing uncontrollably. In that moment, her anger dissipated. Replaced by a profound sense of empathy, Sarah realized that there was more to this situation than met the eye, and that the woman herself was grappling with something deeply personal. Choosing compassion over anger, Sarah approached the woman gently, placing a comforting hand on her shoulder. With a soft voice, she reassured her, it's going to be all right. Let's figure this out together. The lady looked up at Sarah through her tears, her eyes filled with a profound mixture of grief and desperation. Her voice quivered as she pleaded, what happened? Why did you leave the baby with my son? Sarah took a deep breath, steadying herself before responding. With gentle sincerity, she spoke quietly to the woman, acknowledging the pain in her confession. I understand. Thank you for trusting me with this truth. As the truth was spoken, a weight lifted from the woman's shoulders. A glimmer of hope shone through her tear-stained face, offering a chance for understanding and healing in the midst of chaos. She confessed that she had been struggling to provide the infant with the love and attention it deserved. Overwhelmed by the weight of her responsibilities, she had reached her breaking point and felt lost, not knowing how else to cope. In a desperate act of seeking care for her child, she had left the baby with Sarah's son, Max, hoping he would receive the care he needed. Sarah's heart ached for the woman, realizing the depth of her anguish and the difficult choices she had faced. Sarah's empathy grew as she grasped the woman's struggle. Rather than judging her mistakes, Sarah felt overwhelming compassion, realizing the immense pain and turmoil she endured to find herself in such a desperate situation. Sarah's own experience with motherhood had given her a profound understanding of the challenges it entailed, including the potential impact of postpartum depression on one's mental health. Despite her initial surge of anger, Sarah's empathy prevailed. She recognized that this woman was not a threat, but rather someone in desperate need of assistance and support. Without hesitation, Sarah extended a helping hand, ready to provide the care and understanding that was necessary in this difficult moment. In an act of compassion, Sarah reached out to the woman, offering her guidance and reassurance. With a genuine desire to help, Sarah provided the support needed to navigate the complexities of the situation. Sarah made a solemn promise to the woman, assuring her that she would not involve the police and instead focus on getting her the necessary help. Although initially skeptical, the woman couldn't ignore the genuine sympathy and sincere care radiating from Sarah. It was as if a connection had formed, easing her reservations and allowing her to trust Sarah with her deepest troubles and anxieties. As the woman slowly opened up to Sarah, a wave of relief washed over her. She revealed her challenges, the immense pressure and desperate acts she resorted to in her struggle. In Sarah's compassionate presence, the woman found solace Realizing she wasn't alone in her pain, Sarah attentively listened, offering comforting words and empathy as they sat together in the dimly lit alleyway. With the baby cradled in Sarah's arms, the woman found the courage to share her deepest struggles. She confessed that since giving birth to her daughter, she had been engulfed by overwhelming feelings of isolation and helplessness. Admitting that she didn't know how to reach out for support she poured her heart out to Sarah, grateful for her understanding presence. As the woman poured out her heart, Sarah embraced her, offering solace and reassurance. In that vulnerable moment, a sense of relief washed over her, knowing she wasn't alone in her motherhood journey. Tearfully, she thanked Sarah for her unwavering support, 